Hey, good morning. In today's one-year Bible reading, out of Matthew chapter 7, I chose verses 21 through 23, where it says, Not everyone who calls out to me, Jesus, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father will enter heaven. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and performed many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Now this description of judgment day makes me pause. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Hmm. Okay, I get that. There will be lots of people who call for mercy on that day, but it will be too late then. Jesus has already extended the invitation, and on judgment day, the invitation is no longer open. Also, just calling out the name Jesus doesn't save a person but calling upon the name of Jesus, trusting in him and confessing his lordship is what saves a person. See Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 13. What does Jesus say will be the determining factor between those calling out on judgment day? Lord, Lord. He says, not everyone who calls out Lord, Lord. So there'll be saved people saying that as well as some lost people. What is the determining factor between those two? Those who do the will of my Father in heaven. Okay, I get that too. Saying he is Lord while acting as if he is not is a distinct disqualifier. If I say Jesus is Lord, it should be backed up with action. So what's the problem then? Well, the problem comes when I consider the list of actions that he gives that do not necessarily indicate submission to Jesus as Lord. What does he say? On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, perform many miracles in your name. Depart from me. I don't know you. Okay, so what does he indicate? Um, what does he say that doesn't necessarily indicate submission to the Lord? Well, one, preaching the Bible. Yes, preachers. Me. Me. Modern prophecy is much more closely tied to proclamation or preaching than it is foretelling future events. So he says, they're going to be preachers who say, Lord, Lord, I don't know you. Those who cast out demons, those who perform miracles. Now to me, those things seem like pretty good indicators that a person knows the Lord. But apparently Jesus doesn't agree. So if not those things, then what? What would indicate a relationship with Jesus? Well, maybe Micah the prophet can help us out. In chapter 6, verse 8, he says, He has told you, O man, what is good? And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Maybe it's not about what I do for him. Preach, cast out demons, work miracles. 
but maybe it's about what I do with him. Walk humbly with my God, showing his mercy and his justice. Pray with me. Lord, I really don't want to be one of the ones calling out, Lord, Lord, and having you say to me, I don't know you. I really want to be, above all else, one of the ones that you look at and say, well done. Good, faithful servant. But I know it's not so much about the things that I would do for you. Those things aren't necessarily indicators of a relationship. Lord, you desire for me to walk with you, talk with you, listen to you through your word each day share my heart with you confess my sins to walk in obedience to show your mercy lord remind me of that this day it's not about what i do for you about what I do with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.